my beloved love. They may have been the one that caused you to begin looking inward and going deep within yourself and healing these inner child wounds. I also hear something about boundaries. Like this masculine may have taught you how to set boundaries with these energies or people in your life who were taking from you or who were imposing themselves on you. Now they may have taught you how to set boundaries through calling you out, telling you that you needed to set boundaries with other people in your life, or they may have actually done this through their actions. This would have been in a more emotionally painful way in some cases. I'm picking up this masculine may have actually been codependently connected with you. At some point, in a way that pushed you almost to this breaking point, where you had no choice but to set boundaries with this person, but to call your power back. And in doing so, it's almost like their soul taught you, through these painful emotional patterns, the two of you were playing out together. Their soul taught you through all of that how to really fully reclaim your throne as the empowered divine feminine, how to set necessary boundaries with people in your life. I'm hearing energy vampires, people who may have tried to drain your energy. I'm seeing the number 1111, which tells me that most likely there's also been a lot of synchronicity around your connection with this particular masculine. With the star card reversed, I'm hearing spiritual despair or soul grief. And I'm feeling my eyes start to actually well up with tears. What this card tells me is one or both of your souls are grieving here. Regardless of what's happening in 3D, regardless of how one or both of you may have moved forward with your lives, maybe you aren't even in connection at the moment, but regardless, I feel this. I have to say I know I said one or both of your souls are grieving, but I'm really feeling mutual soul grief. If you were both being totally open and honest with yourselves, I feel that deep down there is this shared sense of grief around your connection that goes really deep to a soul level. Because again, there's that chariot reversed energy where it feels like this connection just got backed into a corner where it had nowhere to go, where one or both of you felt powerless or felt blocked by obstacles that were outside of your control. Maybe in the case of you, Divine Feminine, you felt that the obstacle was this masculine's own stubbornness or refusal to examine their own patterns within themselves. But the interesting thing is the masculine is actually coming up as the Knight of Pentacles. As I said earlier, I'm getting almost this secretive hidden energy from this card, almost like steadily, gradually over the course of time. This masculine has actually been opening, expanding his horizon spiritually, going through an emotionally maturing process that may be quite unexpected for you to recognize, divine feminine. From divine muscular, type yes if you believe.